Hello everyone, this is Puka, and today we're going to take a look at what I feel is one of the strongest decks currently in the Pokemon TCG, and that is an Evil Tall EX Garboder deck. Now this is very similar to the deck I used at the recent regional championships where I took third place, so it's going to look very similar to that. There are a few changes we have with Flash Fire, but this deck largely remains the same. So the main attacker of the deck is going to be Evil Tall EX. It has the Evil Ball attack, 20 plus 20 more damage for each energy attached to both active Pokemon. So this is Mewtwo's X Ball plus 20. <laughs> and it gets the benefit of being a Darkness type Pokemon, which means we could take advantage of a card like Dark Patch, which we'll get to in a little bit. Evil Ball is an absurdly strong attack, and you'll just be amazed at how quickly that damage adds up for that attack. If your opponent has any energy on their Pokemon, boy, they're pretty much toast when Evil Tall EX comes in to attack. The second attack is also pretty good. Y Cyclone does 90 damage for 3 energy and allows you to move an energy from Evil Tall EX to one of your bench Pokemon. So if you know it's about to get knocked out, or you just want to spread your energy out a little bit, Y Cyclone is a great attack. Especially because it can move special energy as well, which can be very good. So Evil Tall EX is the main attacker of the deck. And then we have Garboder as kind of support. Garbotoxin is probably the best ability in the game because it takes away everything else's ability. If it has a Pokemon tool attached, your opponent's Pokemon don't have abilities. Well, yours don't either, but the main goal is to take away your opponent's abilities because a lot of decks just don't function well without them. For example, decks with Blastoise and Embor well, they can't use their abilities, then they're not doing very much. Another example now is against Pyroar. If we take away that intimidating main ability, all of a sudden our basic Pokemon can attack Pyroar, and we're doing just fine. Another example, if we shut off Verizian EX's Verdant Wind, we can start to poison it again with our Hypnotoxic Lasers, which we'll get to in a second. But rest assured, Garbotoxin is extremely powerful, and even though it looks like garbage, it is garbage, the card is definitely gold. Well, this one is literally gold garbage, but never mind, you get the picture. So as long as we have a Pokemon tool on Garboder, we can use Garbotoxin and shut off everything's ability. So in order to do that, we do have six Pokemon tools to work with. This is probably the one you want the most. Three Floatstone we're going to have gives a Pokemon no retreat cost, since Garboder does have... A nasty 3 retreat cost, we want to give it a free one. And then we have 3 muscle band, adds 20 damage to the Pokemon that this is attached to. This is just an extremely, extremely good card. And it just helps Evil Tall EX do even more damage. Sometimes you have to put this on a Garboder just to, you know, activate Garbotoxin. But for the most part we want to use this on Evil Tall EX and your other attackers. And then Floatstone on Garboder. Alright, so we do have a lot of supporting attackers. I like using a lot of different attackers. Most decks don't run this many, but, well, I do. We'll start off with the one that's seen the most. Darkrai EX has Dark Cloak. Its ability, if any of your Pokemon have any Darkness Energy attached, it has no retreat cost. Now, obviously, when you have Garbotoxin in effect, you lose Dark Cloak, but that's fine. There's other situations where you don't have Garbotoxin active, and you can get a nice free retreat cost. It also has Night Spear, 90 to an active Pokemon, 30 to a bench Pokemon, 180 HP, and it also has a different weakness than Evil Tall EX. So Darkrai EX, I feel like it does deserve a place in this deck. We're seeing less and less people use it, but he's still pretty good in my book. The other commonly card, the commonly seen card we see is Sableye, just for its junk hunt attack. You get two item cards from your discard pile back into your hand. We also have Absol has Mind Jack, 20 plus 20 damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. We don't really use Fearsome Shadow very often, but Mind Jack is a very good, cheap attack and a non-EX attacker. I also play one of the non-EX Evil Tall that has Oblivion Wing. It's a nice 130 HP, pretty beefy Pokemon that can take a hit sometimes. 30 and then attach a Darkness Energy from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. So that's a nice little support Pokemon that can dink a little damage there, do 30 and set it up for, set a Pokemon up for a knockout while powering up a benched Pokemon as well. 
I do like this Pokemon. And the newest addition to the deck is Drudagon. Now, Drudagon has Revenge, which does 90 if your opponent uh, knocks out one of your Pokemon. But the reason it's useful is it's a Dragon-type Pokemon, so we can knock out things like Black Kiram EX and Rayquaza EX. Those are the two big ones. So Drudagon is here for that. It attacks for two colorless energy, and this just really solidifies your matchup against those Blastoise and Emboar decks. Anytime they want to attack you with those big dragons, you get an easy one-hit knockout with Revenge. Dreadagon's pretty cool. This is also good against Raichu, because Evil Tall EX is weak to lightning. So a lot of people have started to use Raichu to circle, circuit, knock out Evil Tall EX in one hit. Dreadagon is a very nice response. Just for two energy, we get to do 90, just enough to knock out a Raichu. So those are all the Pokemon for the deck. The trainers are a little tricky. And you will see a lot of variation in people's deck lists when you look at the trainer section. There is no correct way to do this. There's just what you feel is correct. And this is what I have right now. For the supporter cards, we just have 4 Juniper, 4 N, and then 3 Colrus, along with 2 Bicycle. I don't like playing Random Receiver in this deck. I don't really like playing Skyla in this deck either. So we have Bicycle instead. And then for the Ace spec card, we have Dowsing Machine. This is just an incredibly useful card. Discard two cards and get back a trainer card. So those are the that's kind of the draw engine for the deck. We've already looked at the tools. What I feel like really gives this deck the strength it has is Hypnotoxic Laser. Poisons your opponent po opponent's Pokemon, and if you flip heads, it puts them to sleep as well. Normally, all we care about is the poison. Now with this in Verbank City Gym, which I run three of just to make sure I have it out there. You're doing 30 damage out of nowhere. Just for an item card, you get to do plus 30 damage. And with Garbodor in play, Garbotoxin active, your lasers work every time. So all of a sudden, Evil Ball was strong enough, but now with a laser and a Verbank, you're knocking out things in one hit like crazy. We have some other trainer cards to look at. We have four Ultra Ball, just discard two cards, search for a Pokemon. This is very good in this deck because it can discard your darkness energy to use dark patch which i mentioned a little earlier take a basic darkness energy from a discard pile and attach it to one of your bench darkness pokemon i mean you can discard the energy with ultra ball and then get them right back with dark patch as some energy acceleration we also have one switch just because sometimes you need to wake up from sleep or you never know something can get stuck in the active spot we have one Professor's Letter to search out two basic energy cards. This is really good in this kind of a deck. And then we have one Pokemon Catcher. Now there should be a little extra line here that says flip a coin. If heads, switch your opponent's active Pokemon with his or her bench Pokemon. Um, so this is a coin flip. And this is where a lot of people will agree or disagree. You can run this or you can run Lysander. Lysander, of course, is not a coin flip, but it is a supporter. Catcher is a flip, but it doesn't take your supporter for the turn. Right now, I'm favoring Pokemon Catcher in this kind of a deck because we do have Sableye to fall back on. We can always junk hunt for a Pokemon Catcher if we really need it. You're perfectly fine playing Lysander, though. That's totally up to you. And then her energy. Some people think it's a little low. I think it's kind of just right. Four double colorless and then seven darkness energy, and that rounds out the deck. Uh, this is a very standard deck. You'll probably see a ton of it now that Flash Fire is out. I mean, this has been a popular deck for a while, but it just seems like I'm seeing this deck pop up more and more and more. And it's definitely going to be one of the best decks in the format. It's just too strong not to be. So let's take a look at this monster of a deck in action. Got a game from Pokemon TCG Online against Patricio Walsh. And let's see how this one ends up. We start off with a pretty darn good hand. Got a Sableye, an Ultra Ball, uh, two Darkness to discard. We could play a Laser, and we just drew a Trubbish, so everything is looking just wonderful. I'm going to go ahead and Ultra Ball away those two Darkness Energy. And since I drew that Trubbish, that's what I was going to Ultra Ball for. Now we can take another Pokemon instead, and I'm going to take that Evil Tall EX. I'm going to bench that, put down the Trubbish, Hypnotoxic Laser after putting on the Floatstone, Bicycle for a fresh four cards, and okay, that didn't turn out very well. <laughs> Alright, well, 
We don't have much to work with, but we can get a Garboat around in the second turn with that Ultra Ball. I'm just going to hold on to my cards, since I do need some to discard with Ultra Ball. And we'll see what happens. Now, I see we're going up against a deck with Verizian EX and Pikachu. And there's a Grass Energy, so we can probably just assume this is a Verizian Genesect deck with Raichu. And this is going to be one of the decks that people are going to try to use to counter this Evil Tall Garboder deck. Because it's just... Genesect does a decent job already with G-Booster, knocking out Evil Tall EX in one hit. And then you add Raichu to the mix, which can Circle Circuit for a knockout on Evil Tall EX. It just ends up being a good matchup. So we definitely have our work cut out for us. Thankfully, my opponent played an end there. And I got a fresh hand of six cards. Unfortunately, looks like my opponent plays Hypnotoxic Laser, which is bad news. I don't like seeing that when I'm using this kind of a deck. Uh, I hate... I mean, it's Verizian, Genesect, Raichu already. That's already difficult to deal with. And now we have Hypnotoxic Lasers thrown in the mix as well. It's just not pretty. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. I, I'm not going to put the Verbank City Gym out right now. Because, first of all, I would hurt my Sableye more. And second of all, it seems like my opponent is playing Hypnotoxic Lasers. So he'll probably put down Verbank as well. So I can just hold on to it for the time being. We did get a Garboder out on the second turn with the tool. So Garbotoxin is active. That's a good thing. So now... I mean, we'll just have to see what happens from here. Emerald Slash is going to knock out Sableye, but will my opponent have something to target with the Emerald Slash and get two Grass Energy onto it? Probably, as we see a Skyla. But the big thing here is, how many Emerald Slashes can Verizian EX use in this game? Normally, it'll get at least one off. I mean, obviously. But if we can knock it out immediately after that one happens... Then, my opponent only has a couple energy in play on a Genesect, and we just have to really deal with one Pokemon, and we can win. Now, if it gets two Emerald Slashes off, then we have two Genesects powered up, and that's when it gets very difficult. So, in this matchup, you really want to be knocking out that Vrizzini X right away if possible. And that's exactly what I'm going to try to do. We can pull it off with like a Muscle Band and a Hypnotoxic Laser, Right now, we're already doing 100 damage with the energy we have combined. If I attach, you know, get a Muscle Man and a Hypnotoxic Laser, that's a knockout on that Verizian EX, and I'm going to be very happy with that. So I could try to draw a Double Colorless that would allow me to draw one last card. We can do a DCE plus Muscle Band or DCE plus Laser. I'm going to go ahead and Professor's Letter just to look at my deck and see how many Double Colorless are in there. And what the... There are actually three of them prized. So, normally I would have just junipered away the darkness energy trying to hit the DC. But when I see there's only one in there, that's really unlucky, first of all. <laughs> three of them are prized. But now I know I don't, I can't afford to waste these energy. I'm just going to attach the third one. And again, I really do want to go for this one-hit knockout on this Vrizzini X. But I'm a little bit short. We're going to have the Hypnotoxic Laser. And I'm going to be, looks like, 10 damage short, which is very painful. But I'm still going to go ahead and do it. Right, so we, later we could, well, we're going to force our opponent to make a decision. Either you Emerald Slash, get the energy in play, and then get knocked out from Poison, or retreat and then attack with something else. And both of those situations I'm okay with. So we're going to put the pressure on. The only way this could really be a problem is if... Well, there was like a healing card, or if we saw a Tool Scrapper or Startling Megaphone to get rid of the Tool on Garboder, activating the Verdant Wind on Brizzy EX, and then um, there would no longer be Poison there, and my opponent probably would be fine to Emerald Slash. Anyway, wow, we see a G-Booster. <laughs> this is the third turn of the game. G Booster taking down Evil Tally X. Three turns, three prizes for my opponent. And this is a lot to just kind of look at right away. This is like, whoa, I am under so much pressure, and you do need to respond quickly against this kind of a deck. So I'm going to go ahead and Dark Patch onto the Evil Tally X, and then attach. And then I'm also going to end my opponent down to three cards. So this is going to make it very difficult for my opponent to really do much of anything. It's either continue to commit to this big Genesect EX, 
or kind of backtrack a little bit and just start using uh, Emerald Slash once again. And either one I am okay with. Again, we'll just have to see which one it is. Now, if my opponent does decide to maybe get an Energy Switch or a Chorus Machine plus an Energy and then use G Booster for the Knockout, I held on to the cards in my hand because I want to keep my options open. I could then just Ultra Ball for Dredagon and then Revenge for the final 90 damage. That way I know for sure I'm knocking out Genesect and I'll be pretty happy with that because my opponent won't have much of anything left if this Genesect goes down. We do see the second Grass onto Genesect DX and then a Juniper which is a pretty big draw off that end to three. So we'll see if there's an energy switch or a chorus machine to keep the pressure on with that G booster. Otherwise, we'll probably see a retreat uh, or we see an escape rope, apparently. That's fine with me. Uh, I'm just going to promote Garboder because my opponent has clearly told me he's not going to attack me this turn. If he would have, he probably just would have energy switched or chorus machined already and used G booster. So I'm confident promoting Garboder and just saying, up, oh, I have free retreat. Okay. <laughs> so here I have a DC that I'm going to put on to the Evil Tile EX. And then we'll go ahead and bench the Absol. And I'll probably just play one of these supporters this turn. I could Ultra Ball, but there's not really anything I want to go for. Uh, put in the DC on Evil Tile EX so that I can go ahead and Y Cyclone this turn. And move an energy to that bench Darkrai. Because we have a plan in these next couple turns. I was fortunate to draw the Dowsing Machine right there, getting a Dark Patch. So we're going to get that onto the Dark Eye EX on the bench, and then just Bicycle for a few cards. And here I'm just going to retreat into Evil Tall EX and Y Cyclone for 90, and then we're going to move the energy to Dark Eye EX. So the reason this is so big is, you see right there, Genesect EX, 90 HP left. Verizian EX, 10 HP left. So if my opponent decides to attack with that Genesect in G-Booster, well, my opponent's going to walk right into a Night Spear from Darkrai EX, taking four prizes at once. And that's a pretty darn good way to come back, right? Taking four prizes in a single attack. And it looks like that Genesect is coming out. So this could be a big turn. I don't know. We see a Chorus Machine onto the Genesect EX, so that's going to make that G-Booster a little bit easier. And we'll see if anything else happens this turn. I mean, if that G-Booster happens, we are going to Night Spear. And not only that, and end my opponent to 1 as well. Which is pretty much game over. My opponent would have to get really lucky after that to have a shot at this game. We do see another Genesect come down along with a Verizian EX. And we'll see what else happens. Off that Chorus for 5, we see a Plasma Energy on to the Genesect EX. So that's starting to get powered up a little bit. Will we see the G-Booster, though? I would assume so. There's not really much else to do here. And there it is. G-Booster for 200. My opponent goes down to one prize, but we're going to tie the game up right away. I'll just go ahead and promote that Garboder with the Float Stone. I'm going to play an Ultra Ball just to get rid of some excess cards at this point. We'll get rid of an N. And then the regular Evil Tall. Attach that DCE onto the Dark Eye and then N. My opponent to one card, and this deck can just make some big comebacks sometimes. Here is the Night Spear. 90 damage, 30 to the Verizini X. That's one, two prizes for the active knockout. And then we'll get three, four prizes at once. That is just Dark Eye EX going to work. And my opponent only has one, two cards after drawing for the turn. Wow, that's just a ridiculous turn of events, I would say. There's the Muscle Bandit. Oh no, a <laughs> Juniper! Oh, no. Okay, well, that's a pretty good top deck off of an end to one. Uh, end to three, he drew a Juniper. End to one, he drew a Juniper. And, oh, no, a Hypnotoxic Laser. Now I'm asleep. If I stay asleep here, we're in some big, big trouble. As that Genesect could get powered up and knock me out with Megalocannon in the following turn. But we did happen to wake up. That's good news. All right, so now let's see. How do I want to approach this? We're going to start off pretty simply with a Hypnotoxic Laser. That seems like an obvious thing to do here. Putting that Genesect to sleep. And now I'm going to think, can I actually knock out that Genesect this turn? Pokemon Catcher could bring out Verizian EX, but that doesn't seem like a very good plan. Well, let's see. I've used two Dark Patch. 
And unless the third one is my last prize, I'm pretty sure I can draw it because I'm drawing seven cards with Professor Juniper. And the way the math works out, well, um, muscle band, let's see, three energy, four, five, six, seven. We're going to do 140 damage <laughs> with Dark Patch on Evil Tall EX. Thankfully, my last prize is not a Dark Patch. And we'll just go ahead and retreat. Evil Ball after the Dark Patch. 140 plus 30 from Laser and Verbank. And my goodness, just a zero energy Evil Tall EX just got powered up immediately to knock out a Genesect EX in one hit. How ridiculous is that? That is why Evil Tall EX is just one of the best Pokemon ever printed. And that's why this deck is so strong. We were under fire for how long? Down, what, three prizes? Didn't matter, we managed to come back anyway. So look out for this Evil Tall EX Garboder deck. It's definitely going to make a splash. At the upcoming National Championships, I wouldn't be surprised at all. If we can even beat a deck pretty much built to beat us, it had Raichu in there. Well, then we can deal with just about anything. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will certainly have some more for you soon. I am Puka from the Top Cut, and I'll see you guys next time.